hello guys in this tutorial let's take down a problem on abelian group guys watch this video up to the end this video is really important for your scoring in your exam okay there are two important formulas we'll be discussing on two formulas one one problem a problem on plus and a problem on multiplication okay so there is nothing but this is a really easy problems and easy methods okay whenever we'll be given a question with plus whenever you'll be seeing plus you just need to get notified this formula a plus base m b is equals to a plus b by this is not by guys it's just it's a modulo m remember in modulo you will be always getting reminder that's the most important key point for this chapter you'll wherever you will be doing division or modulo whatever you may call wherever you will be doing that you will be writing the reminder as the result remember it okay next if the question is given like the star phi star base phi then you will be writing a star base m b is equals to a star b modulo m okay guys okay i'll be giving you a in depth idea on this by i'll be doing this problem don't worry because this is a bit confusing problem i gonna i'll be also be practiced okay guys don't worry i'm here to help you okay the example is let us take the first example with addition 0 1 2 3 4 plus base 5 okay i have just told you one thing one whenever you will be seeing this you need to write this formula a plus base 5 b is equals to a plus b modulo 5 sorry a plus b modulo 5 okay i have i hope everyone is clear with this okay let us start drawing the table with plus 5 what is this write that as the main key point and write all the values 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 now start filling the table you may get it wrong. how can i fill this table man okay there is nothing we'll be using this formula this is going to be your a and this is going to your b your b Okay, now start filling the table. I hope everyone is good at divisions. Guys, stop using your calci for this because you need reminder, not the value in points or something like that. You need the reminder. So, initially, okay, I'll be doing few of the calculations for you. Zero plus zero is zero. Percentage five is equals to zero. One, okay, we'll be continuing like this. Okay, that's fine. Zero plus one. One percentage five is equals to five one zero 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 reminder one. So the beside value is less. So this is the output. I mean that that will be your reminder. So two percentage five two three percentage five three four percentage five four. Okay. I hope everyone understood what the whole uh, like this. You need to fill the whole table. Okay, if you are facing any kind of confusions or problems, don't worry, guys. I'm gonna help you out. Okay, just continue like this. One plus zero. I hope you have already done this. One plus zero. That is what you done there. Next, one plus one, two. This is the result. Two value. Two. One plus two, three. That is the result you have wrote here. There, three. One plus three, four. Write the fourth result here. Yep, I hope you understood what I'm doing. Oh, okay, just a second. One plus four, five. Five percentage five is always zero. Okay, let us continue it. Two plus zero, it is two. So previously you got two value here, so two. Or else you can just do the division. Okay, I'll be doing the division. That will be the best. Two plus zero will be two. Two plus one will be three, and two plus two will be four. Four means you'll be getting the reminder four. Two plus three will be the five, so reminder zero. Sorry, two plus four will be six. The reminder will be one. Sorry. <coughs> three plus zero, three. Four plus zero, four. Three plus one, four. Four plus one, five, zero. Four plus two, five. Sorry, six. Percentage five, one, two, three, zero, one, two. Okay, guys. I hope you got a small idea on this. Okay. 
I'll be just showing you the tricks. Slowly, don't worry, guys. It's it's just the starting of the problem. So somehow, finally, you have filled the complete table. So now, start checking the conditions. I hope everyone remember those conditions which I have told you. Those are the most important things. Okay. First, let us check the closure property. Are the set elements are the only elements existing in the table? Yes. So it follows the closure property. Next, let's go to associative property. Associative property means plus and multiplication follows associative property as we all know it. So it is also following associative property. Next, identity. Identity of plus. I have previously mentioned to remember it. That could be the best way if you are good at remembering the answers. Then identity of plus is zero. Or else you can also even find it from the table. The matching column, I think so, row. Yeah, the matching row. The matching row with this. Exactly this. So zero is the identity. That's a small trick to identify it. Okay, guys, I hope you understood what, how I am saying that. That's fine. Next, inverse. Yep, inverse. Inverse is nothing but I have told you that. Uh, let us take the A values. A plus minus A is equals to 0. Right, guys? But here there is a small thing. Plus, you are not doing directly. Plus by 5 is the key. So, A inverse A adding with inverse of A percent okay, modulo 5 is equals to 0. So, you will be not doing any kind of crazy things. Just there is a small trick. You will be finding for 0, right? So, search for zeros in the column, in the places where you have solved it. Here is one zero, here is one zero, here is one zero, here is one zero, here is one zero. Write those pairs. I think in graphs or somewhere else you have just done this in matrix. For zero zero it is zero. Zero comma zero. And continue like that. One comma four. Two comma three. Three comma two. Four comma one. I hope for every element of sorry. Okay. These are the values 0, 0, 1, 4, 0, 0. Okay, wait. There is a big problem doing like that. Okay. For 0, 0, 0. For 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1. Okay, I hope everyone got a small idea on this. That's fine. I'll be continuing like this only. That's fine. Okay. These are the inverses. Okay, I have found them successfully. So, up to now, this is a group. Then, it should also follow commutative law. What is commutative law? Every positive will be following. A plus B is equals to B plus A. This is not possible for, possible for addition. It is possible, guys. For addition and multiplication, it is possible. So, it follows all the conditions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it follows all the five conditions. Hence, it is a abelian group, guys. I hope you got a small idea how to solve the problem. Okay, guys. I hope this video helps you a lot. Even this may be a lengthy video. Okay, next. Let's go through the next example. I told you that I'll be solving the multiplication problem as the next problem. So, second. S is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, star 4. Okay, I'll be filling the table a bit faster guys, than the previous. Because our video is going really lengthy than our videos. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. I'll be just copying them from my book. That could be the easiest way, 0, 0, 0, 0. The similar way guys, just I'll be explaining you for 0. 0 into 0. 0, 0 into 1, 0, okay, that's fine, that's all zeros, that's fine, okay, let's go with the next, 0 plus 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, you'll be just multiply, multiplying and reminder by 4, A into B by 4, 
okay just continue like that i hope everyone can do these calculations those are really really simple okay guys i have successfully filled the table closure property it should include only 0 1 2 3 yep closure it's perfect associative multiplication follows associative law i have clearly told you next identity identity i have told you that first star identity is one let's recheck it zero one two three that column is repeated right here at the rate one so identity is one fine inverse so now identity is one so we need to search for ones this is the one this is the one. Oh, only we have only two ones but we should have four ones so we have only few possibilities for one it is one this is a possibility of inverse and for three there that is three this is these are the only two possibilities hence we are missing with zero and two hence this is not following inverse condition hence this has this is not a group not a abelian group and it's just a monoid guys i hope this gives you a basic idea of how to solve the problems of abelian group group monoid these are the most important problems which will be asked for for 5 marks or 10 marks okay guys hope this video helps you a lot thanks for watching guys thank you